Okay, um, this is really scary. Liz is showing all the signs of being pregnant. She would be about two months pregnant at the moment. But, well, the pregnancy test says she isn't pregnant at all. Well, what does this mean? Oh, God, we need to get to the hospital right now. E excuse me, ma'am. Uh, I need to see a doctor. It's, um, well, it's for my wife. Your wife? How old are you exactly? I'm 18, but that, that, that's not important right now. Can, can you get me a doctor? Well, what I need you to do is sign in, and we'll be with you shortly. Till then, wait here in the lobby. Um, yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, um, let's go sit down, I guess. Let me get this paperwork, and I'll be right over there. What, what paperwork exactly do I need to fill out? This is taking forever, Josh. I'm getting really scared. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Um, well, I'm not sure. I doubt it, though. I was thinking about why all medical places smell so scary. I mean, it's a clean smell, but it's a scary smell all at the same time. Uh, I... Getting off track, what, what exactly are you thinking about? What if I am pregnant? And something is wrong with the baby? What if he or she is hurt? Are we just going to wait here? Well, I mean, there isn't really anything we can do. I've already harassed that nurse over there now, like, what, three times? About the waiting time. I mean, yeah, it's been a little over an hour and it's getting a little ridiculous, but I don't know. I am getting kind of worried if it does get any later. Our parents, well, they might start asking questions. They might call me or call you. You need to explain the situation to the nurse right now. We are the only people here. It should not be taking this long. You got kind of a point. There's only been like two other people in here in the time span that we've been here. Okay, well, I'll go see what I can do. Good. If you need to tap me in, just let me know. I'm ready to scream at someone. Well, try not to, you know, scream. I know we think you're pregnant, and you might be pregnant, but you don't need to be acting like a crazy pregnant lady. I'll, um, I'll be right back. Okay, Josh, you just need to go up there and talk to her and explain the situation. We haven't really done that yet. We haven't explained what's going on at the moment. They don't even know if she's pregnant. So, I don't know. Let's just go talk to her. Just keep together and be nice. Um, excuse me, ma'am, but how much longer is it going to take? It's already been over an hour and, well, we are the only two here right now. Mr. Burt, was it? Uh, yes. Y yes, ma'am. That's, that's, that's me. All right then, Mr. Burt. We've already spoken about this twice, and I've told you that you will be called on as soon as the doctor is ready. Well, can, can you get a move on? Look, my wife and I believe that she's pregnant, but, well, we aren't sure. Thing is, if she was, she would be, well, about two months pregnant right now. But the pregnancy test, they, um, well, they keep coming back negative. Well, there's your answer then. The two of you are too young to be wanting kids anyway. Okay, well, here's the thing. What me and my wife do is between me and her, and the only reason you are here in this conversation is because you need to evaluate my wife and make sure she is okay. Not for you to give your opinion on the way my wife and I live our lives. Sir, I'm going to need you to calm down. Well, I'm not going to be calm. My wife is showing all the signs of being pregnant, and the tests keep coming back negative. What if something's wrong with our child, and you're just making us sit here and wait? What signs is she showing exactly? Every. Single. One. Except the pregnancy test being positive. Hmm. Well, all right then. I'll go grab the doctor. I'll be right back. Okay, well, we're in a different room, and th th that's good. We're in the, now, secondary part of the waiting room. We're now waiting for the doctor to walk through that room. We are done dealing with the annoying nurse who was a little snooty. But she didn't know the situation, so that's fine. I'm going to let it slide. She didn't know what was going on with Liz, and now we kind of know that this is kind of serious. I mean, she ran and went and got the doctor, and the doctor saw us basically instantly. So, yeah, this is scary. I don't know what this means. There could be something wrong with the health of our child. 
or there could be something wrong with the health of Liz. Oh God, what do I do if there's something wrong with Liz? I think I could live with you know something happening to a child that I never knew. I mean, that would hurt my heart. But if I ever lost Liz, I don't know what I'd do with myself. She's my wife. I love her. I'd give my life in a heartbeat for her to live. So hopefully everything's all right. I feel like if it was a severe emergency, that doctor would already be in that room. And by that room, I mean the room we're in right now. Okay, well, we're just going to try to keep calm and just try to keep Liz occupied. Because I know you're both just wandering 99,000 miles in each other's head. You're just, you're going crazy and we need to stop thinking so much. It's the overthinking process that makes me sick to my stomach. And I know that's probably what's making her sick to her stomach. Just so you know, watching you get mad at that nurse was the cutest I think I've ever seen you. <laughs> I think what you mean is that was the hottest I've ever been. Well, I didn't want you to get too big of an ego. <laughs> uh, just think. If my ego was bigger, we would, um, well, we would have been back here a little earlier than we are right now because I would have dealt with that nurse quite quicker. But because you've limited my ego over the years, well, it took all this time. So, I mean, you're the one to blame. Oh, hush. Let's try and take this situation seriously, all right? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Now, something I haven't asked yet. Do do you hurt anywhere? Like, does do, do you hurt? No, not really. Why? Well, I, I was thinking maybe if the baby was hurt, then... Well, maybe you would hurt too. So maybe everything's okay. If if you don't hurt, then the baby's okay. And I think it's a good thing that you don't hurt. I mean, even if there is a baby, I don't want anything happening to you. That's a good way to look at it. So maybe everything is okay. I'm sure everything is fine. Um, I think if it was severe, the doctors would already be in here working on you. One of two things are basically going to happen today. Either, well, A, you're pregnant, or, well, B, you aren't. Everything points to you being pregnant, though. You even have the cute little belly prego look going on. It's quite adorable. Oh, you think it's cute. I thought you might think I was fat. Absolutely not. It's actually quite cute, I, I promise. Well, good. Uh, come in. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Burt. I hear there's an interesting issue upsetting the two of you. Mind explaining what the matter is again? Well, sir, um, my wife is showing basically every sign of pregnancy. We believe she's like about two months pregnant at the moment. But, well, e each pregnancy test we have taken, well, it says she isn't pregnant. Well, it isn't unheard of for a pregnancy test to say negative for as far as 20 weeks into pregnancy. 20 weeks? Is that how long we might have to wait before we even know anything at all? If you hadn't come my way, then perhaps. But now that you two are here, we can do some tests and even do an ultrasound. Okay. Okay, awesome. Thank thank you. Thank you very much. We, we really appreciate it. We are really scared, honestly. And that's why I raised my voice at one of your nurses. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. It's all right. I can understand how stressful it can be for some. What we can do now is have Liz come to the restroom and try a pregnancy test that looks for even the smallest amount of HCG. H HCG? Well, what's that exactly? The female body produces it as soon as pregnancy occurs. If your wife gets pregnant, then this specialized pregnancy test should tell us. Good. Good deal. I'll, um, I'll just be waiting here then. We'll be right back. Okay. Well, the doctor is gonna go give Liz a super duper pregnancy test that'll definitely check whatever is needed to be found something I don't know it started with an H but it'll hopefully find that and we'll know beyond a shadow of a doubt if she's pregnant so that that's good maybe he won't even have to do the ultrasound that sounds kind of expensive so hopefully it isn't and if it has to be done then oh boy I hope it's not expensive but I don't know, it would be kind of neat to see inside someone's tummy. I wouldn't mind getting myself an ultrasound. I wonder, like, what it can see and whatnot. Or maybe it's only for women? I don't know. I don't know if it can, like, look into the stomach or anything like that. But, I don't know, doctor stuff is cool. Like, look at this. What is this? Um, microscope, that's what it is. And this must be some sort of medication. It's just nice, neat stuff. 
don't get me wrong, I don't want to ever be a doctor because, I don't know, I don't like sick people. And I imagine doctors probably get a lot more sicker than most people. Oh, well, they probably build up an immune system to it. But I know I hate going to the doctor's office because every time I go here, I feel like I'm going to get sick. And sometimes I do get sick. I know there was that one time I was here and someone had the stomach flu and I was so terrified I was going to get sick that I made myself sick by thinking I was going to get sick and I never got sick. Just made myself sick. Okay. Pregnancy test is going to be done. And then we'll know whether or not, well, that I'm going to be a dad. Till then, I'm just going to try to relax and, I don't know, play snake or something. Uh, what, 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 what's going on exactly? Why did that take so long? I thought you were just doing a pregnancy test. Is, is everything all right? All right, Mr. Burt. The pregnancy test came back negative. But I agree, we are seeing the signs of pregnancy in your wife. This is quite confusing. Well, what does this mean exactly? Is, is Liz okay? Like, medically? Right now, she's my top priority. Just be honest with me, Doc. What's going on? Everything looks fine. We ran a test on her and everything comes back perfectly healthy. Perhaps what's happening is a detached embryo, which would be a simple fix, but we won't know until we do an ultrasound. Well, yeah, let, let's do this, Doc. I, I want to know what the hell's going on with my, you know, my wife. I was scared when I didn't know, but I'm terrified when the doctor doesn't know. The human body's mysterious, Mr. Burt. We still don't have all the answers to the human body, but like I said, the ultrasound should help us figure out the issue. I'll grab my nurse to bring it in. Oh, okay, okay. All right. That's all I need to see. Mr. Burt, would you step outside with me for a moment? Wait. Doctor. Everything all right? Yes, Elizabeth. Everything's fine. I just need to speak with your husband privately. Sir, w whatever you need to say, you can say here to the both of us. If anybody deserves to know what's going on, I would definitely think it's Liz. I mean, it's, it's her body. Mr. Burt. I think it's wise we speak privately first. Please, doctor, what's going on? Please, sir. What, what, what was it saying? Just tell us. Both of us, please. Very well. Let's step into my office. 